A bird can fly over the state border and nobody bats an eyelid. A human has to apply for a border pass and can only cross if they are considered essential or are granted an exemption. A deer can freely walk outside and eat in a field of grass. A human must prove their vaccination status to sit down in an outdoor cafe. An owl can freely seek shelter in a tree. A human has to pay another human for the privilege. An impala can freely drink water at the local watering hole. A human must cover their face to have a picnic. Melbourne residents keen to have a beer with their mates will still have to keep their masks on while drinking. Make sure you bring your straws, people. A dolphin can cross an international border and nothing is said. A human must line up and show their passports and vaccination status. Hey you, your nose isn't covered properly. Don't you know anything about science? A dog is free to walk around slavering all over the place without a muzzle, but paradoxically their human masters muzzle their own dirty germ-ridden faces. Yes, it's official. Humans are now lower on the social hierarchy than animals. We have allowed our cruel masters to enslave us and take away almost all our freedoms. While the animals are free to roam from state to state, eating and drinking as they please, we live in a worldwide prison of our own creation. Perhaps we deserve it. <laughs>